gear up for all the brand new Grand Theft Auto Online content that's being added into the game with G2A with a link in the description and use code BOSS for an extra discount. Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here. And in today's Grand Theft Auto 5 video, we're going to be talking about all of the new content that has been added into Grand Theft Auto Online today, which is Tuesday, March 21st. So Rockstar kind of surprised us and they have updated Grand Theft Auto Online a little bit and they've added two major additions to the game. The first of which is the hijack Rustin. So the first of the hidden vehicles has now been added into the game and Rockstar describe it as stripped down and drenched in carbon fiber. The hijack Rustin is a lightweight and pint sized packet of fury. It might not win any safety awards but the Rustin's low profile gets you as close to the tarmac as you're ever going to want to be. So nestle in and brace yourself for some tight turns and even tighter clinches. A unique and elegant addition to the sports class. The hijack Rustin is now available in Grand Theft Auto Online at Legendary Motorsport. So the price of the Rustin is $430,000, which is not all that terrible, so that's pretty cool. It also comes with one of the weirdest descriptions of all time, so if you're interested in reading that, you can. It's vehicle stats, four bars of top speed, about four and like one twentieth of acceleration, two bars of braking, and same thing for traction, about four and one twentieth of that as well. So $430,000, not bad at all. Now I will have a video out later today talking about some buyer beware, things you need to know before purchasing this vehicle. But for this video, I just want to kind of give you guys my first impressions and tell you about the fact that it is added into the game. So it was $430,000. I ended up going with the Velocious bumper, which was another $13,000. I then ended up going with the vented rear bumper, which that was another $13,000. I think I ended up going with the chrome exhaust. I then ended up changing the hood to Ram Air. We ended up doing the half roll cage on the back. I obviously updated the paint color of the car too. Did a couple other things like change the skirt. I thought about adding a different color splitter on there. However, I ended up going with the stock option, so didn't have to spend any money on that. I added a spoiler to the back, which was about $9,000. So that wasn't too terrible right there. And then I made some miscellaneous changes to the wheels. And that was about it. So even though this car is only $430,000, the customization is not all that expensive. I think at the end of the day, my price was just about $511,000 when I was all said and done with customizing this vehicle. So all in all, it's going to cost you about half a million dollars to get the product you want, which is not at all bad, making this one of the most affordable sports cars in the game. It was also the only vehicle that was added today in Grand Theft Auto Online. So if you you were looking for something else like the Duke of Death or the Infernus, that's going to be coming at another time. Now, the other thing that Rockstar ended up doing today was adding these special vehicles to the Stunt Race Creator. So you guys obviously know last week we got the special vehicle circuit update and today Rockstar has added the Rocket Voltic Ruiner 2000 and Blazer Aqua and the Stunt Race Creator. They've also added a bunch of new props designed to highlight these vehicles, unique abilities including hurdles, boost refills, and explosive crates. New psychedelic stunt tubes will send racers on a trip through alternate dimensions while destructible walls will leave some serious carnage in your wake as you power your way to victory. So I I'm horrible with the creator, but I think that this is awesome. There are so many talented people in the GTA community that I know are going to create some really special stuff with this. So if you think you're a pretty good creator, now's the chance to take advantage of some opportunity like this because this new content is in the game. Now, there are a couple features that I actually found out that you probably want to know about the special race creator. Number one, you can now prevent NPC pedestrians from spawning in races. So this is, I think, a feature in GTA. GTA 4, and it's taken Rockstar almost four years to add this into Grand Theft Auto Online, but now nonetheless you can prevent NPC pedestrians from spawning in races. A couple other weird things, you can also put checkpoints in the air and on water. I don't know if that's a glitch or if that's something that Rockstar did on purpose to, I guess, account for the fact that these vehicles have some pretty special abilities. And the only other thing that was made aware to me is that rocket pickups in GTA races can now have one to five ammo pickups. So instead of just getting one rocket, you can now get two or three or four or five. So that's pretty cool. Rockstar have seemed to have played around with the creator a little bit. Once again, I am not super fully versed with the creator. I'm so bad with it. So that's not 
really fully my cup of tea right there. But that's it. That's all Rockstar added today. The next thing we really need to look for in Grand Theft Auto Online is going to be Thursday morning when the tunables are set to update again. So this could be not the only content we get this week. Uh, Rockstar's double money and RP on the 20 stunt race courses is ending Wednesday, March 22nd. So that means on Thursday, March 23rd, we're probably going to expect another tunables update. Now, there could be content. There could not be content. At that point, it's just pure speculation. Could we see something like the, the Duke of Death? Absolutely. Could we see the Infernus or the Turismo? Sure. I, I think it's unlikely, but just keep an eye out for Thursday later this week because that's the next time the tunables are set to update. But anyways, that's really all the information I have for you guys in this video today. I know it was a quick one, but just wanted to let you guys know about the new Rustin and also the new Stunt Race Creator. I'll have one more video out coming later today. It's going to be a buyer beware and some secret things you might not have known about the Rustin. And then we're going to be doing a live stream a little bit later on with that mentioned car, but also some of the other unreleased cars as well. So stay tuned for that. That'll be happening later today on my channel, as well as a shark card giveaway coming on my Twitter soon. So be on the lookout for that. However, if you guys did go on to enjoy this video, though, a like rating would, of course, be awesome. And also subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new or you like daily GTA 5 videos like this. Without the way, guys, like I said, thanks so much for watching. Take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video.